Most of cast were male, reflecting world of corporate super rich and true to values of that world, not to mention misogyny in which its characters were bathed. That is, until Logan Roy's funeral, until Shiv, in a rare moment of emotional honesty, tangled with his brothers and stopped acting like another son of Roy's for a minute. It was warm when the sun was shining when he let you in, she said of her father. But it was hard being his daughter, he was tough with women. Then he tries to explain he couldn't fit an entire woman in his head. In the end, Shiv rejects her brother's power, choosing her husband Tom to take the reins. Credits HBO Foxtel Shiv knew his siblings were the same. The writer's decision to impregnate Shiv in final season furthered the dark gender politics of series. Except for a short phone call with Doctor about the test results, Shiv refuses to admit pregnancy and keeps it a secret from husband Tom and brothers as best she can. She needs to keep acting like man the only thing the boardroom misogynist respects less than a woman is pregnant woman. Matson calls her baby lady when he leaves her as CEO. Pregnancy raises risks for Shiv, not only personally, but also commercially now she has another potential successor. All of a sudden, her condition potentially escalates. As Roman points out an ugly final confrontation between the brothers, she represents a true lineage, like a pregnant queen in Tudor court. The initial secrecy of pregnancy was echoed in secrecy of deals Shiv made against her siblings, as she plotted with Matson to turn business over to them. But as women know, biology wins and even if you act like a man, your body will eventually betray you. Shift turned this betrayal in his favor the father of his child chose Tom, and in choosing him he secured a seat as close to power as possible. In the end, her worth was measured by her sexuality. Earlier in the episode, Tom proved his loyalty to Matson by fearlessly letting the crazy Finn talk about wanting his wife, Shiv, to F. Shiv wanted to be CEO of the Matson-run company. Instead, it was sexual currency that the two men traded to sew up the deal that relegated her. At Logan's funeral, his wives and mistresses gathered in one line, a widow's club where any personal resentment was balanced by the size of the settlement they owned. In tribute to her father, Kendall listed everything father did ships, buildings, companies, money. Then she added that their father created me and my three brothers. The camera shifted to the icy dried English mothers, looking quietly pissed off. What did that have to do with it? She was only a supplier of potential successes. But Kendall was right Roy was the father who made his children, in the sense that he destroyed and weakened them and he condemned them to disappoint him forever. Probably most bleak message from succession is that the only person competent enough to be CEO is of course a woman, gorgeous Jerry Kaye.